Hello there everybody, it is me Dexter. I'd like to address a few questions that some of my constituents have been asking me and they're asking why do I wear a white shirt and tie. The reason for that is because I'm an upperclassman so I, I have standards. I'm not going to be dressing around like these silly Americans, you know, dressing with t-shirts and sweatpants. Well, second of all, because I'm British and I need to, to show everybody that I am not an American. I'm not, I'm not a disgusting fat American. I'm not full of lard and shit and drugs. You know, I'm a respectable person. I, what's wrong with me wearing a shirt and a tie? And I think everybody should dress like this, except the women. They should wear flowery dresses and hats. Speaking of women, I have a question for all you women. What should I give my girlfriend for her birthday? Because her birthday is coming up soon and I, I don't know what to get her. I'll go for like a necklace or some kind of jewellery. But, but right now, you know the relationship is barely starting. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Now to answer all your questions, the five things that annoy me the most. Well, I don't think I should do that. I mean, we're supposed to be managing our anger. You know, you know, not recalling it. We're supposed to be thinking happy thoughts. So I changed the question to five things that you love. So five things that I love are shirts ties, British people, my girlfriend, money and power. I know that's like six but I combine money and power because usually they go together. In my case they always do. Rank them from one to five, you know, money and power will have to go first. Then my girlfriend, British people, and then shirts, and then ties. No, ties before shirts. Or maybe ties should go second, then my girlfriend then British people, then ties. No, British people should go last. Then shirts, then my girlfriend, then ties, and then money and power goes first. So it's money and power first, then ties, then my girlfriend, then shirts, and then British people. But I love all of them. I've got to go and settle some stuff for my new country, I'm calling it my country. I might turn it into some kind of monarchy, but to reflect my Britishness, I will have people vote and stuff, you know. I'll try to make it like that. But you know, ultimately, I think I'll hold the most power. We'll see about that. And I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.